in the first quarter. Now they're in the second. We'll and, see what they can do here. And 15 of their 18 yards came on that last play of the first quarter. And the guy that gained that with a big hit right there turned in. It was a handoff to Harris. And then torpedoing through on the secondary. The Bills make the stop. They had Bernard in there and they had others making the hit. And no gain. It'll be second down and 10 with a look at Josh Allen. And through the air, he's gone 2 of 11. Kevin, if you love defensive football, this is the game for you. Right now, both defenses dominating the Bills, taking the football away with three takeaways. And the New England defense has responded with all those turnovers, holding the Bills to just 13. Zappy, one of five. A winner with the block at the right tackle. And that is caught at the 35-yard line and a nice grab on the play by Devontae Parker. He's got the first down. He picks up 15 on second down and 10. They move the ball to the 35. You cannot throw this ball any more accurately than Bailey Zappi does right there. He puts it to the outside, away from Poirier, who's in coverage on Devontae Parker. Parker going up, big physical, who's able to get that ball, giving the Patriots another first down. Two tight ends. And the first and ten with some play action. Low, the block at the left tackle. Zappi chased by Lawson, throws it away. Incomplete second. And Lamar Jackson on fire. Back to Kevin and the crew. Thank you, Phil. He's been a nice pickup for Baltimore, hasn't he? Well, he has been, and, and just another uh, another outstanding catch to add to his resume. Douglas, second and ten, no place to run, no place to hide. Epinesa was over there with others. Battling rib injuries, uh, he has missed the last couple games, comes back in right there, makes the stop at the 34, they lose a yard, New England does. Setting up a third and long, and, and you've already mentioned, Kevin, how good this defense is on third down. Some confusion. Nichols secondary, third and 11. They need the 45. Zappi blitzes on. Intercepted. Picked off by Douglas. Breaking tackles. Got a block. Finds a gap. He's now had six consecutive starts. Tredavious White went out with the injury, and this is who they've gotten to put back there, and he has been terrific. Second interception today, third pick six career, and there is your general manager who is engineer with Sean McDermott, a chance to clinch a playoff today with the win and then a lot of different combinations, Trent. Well, and the job that they've done together, Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott, both in their seventh season with the Buffalo Bills, this would be the sixth playoffs in seven years and working hand in hand and making those decisions. Brandon Bean has done a terrific job in filling that gap. First and ten, Ezekiel Elliott finding room to the 32-yard line, and then he is getting tackled right there. And the former three-time Pro Bowler picks up seven on the play. Out to the 31. Look at those numbers. <laughs> How about that? That's phenomenal. That's well, they haven't been able to get anything going. You know, no, no Juju Smith Schuster being placed on IR. Hunter Henry missing another game, which is a big part of this pass offense. Trent Brown, a healthy scratch, the former Super Bowl starter on that line. Ramondre Stevenson put on IR. He's so. going Kendrick Bourne earlier yeah. in the season. Second down, three. Elliott is down. Floyd got him. Leonard Floyd. Nice play, good tackle. Losing about two to the 29. Floyd with a great inside move. He's going to come inside and then get back outside. Watch, he goes inside around the tackle and is able to get back outside and make the tackle. Tremendous athleticism and speed. And while we're at it, let's talk about the lost players at all three levels by the Bills. They've lost White. We mentioned him. Yes. All pro linebacker Matt Milano. And then they lost Daquan Jones, who's back today, but missed 10 games. 
Third down and six. Elliott the block. Underneath they go. Harris has it. Brought down Floyd. Ball coughed up. Here comes Douglas. Vacuumed it in. Was he down? Oh, they say it's a fumble. Douglas got it again. <laughs> Have a day. Rasul Douglas. If they call it that, well, every change of possession viewed. Right now it's called a turnover. That's the ruling on the field. And Kevin Harris was the one. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's he's down. down. Yeah, he's down. That's coming back. They ruled it. This will be a, this will be a quick turnaround, I would think. Floyd had the hit. Piled on by Hyde forearms and down. by Bernard. Knees down, forearms down. <laughs> Rasul Douglas with two interceptions, one return for a touchdown. He had the pass breakup, which led to the Ed Oliver After interception. Review, it was a completed pass. However, the receiver was down by contact with the ball at the 35 yard line. Well, he's down by contact, and he also had the first down. So not only do they get to keep the ball, but they get a first down. Buffalo's defense, terrific in fumble recoveries, have 11 this season. Not going to get that one right there, but it's something that's on their radar, and the takeaway is already mounting up. Belichick's Patriots, four turnovers. Already three interceptions and a 12th fumble recovery by the Buffalo Bills and Farrell Brown caught it and fumbled. And it is a first down here from the 35. Good block by Owenu. Downfield they go and that is broken up and incomplete. Looking for the rookie Douglas. Demario Douglas dropping the ball. Second down and 10. Big hit by Hyde and others. Well, I'd like to see Douglas come back to the ball. He waits on it a little bit, and because he waits on it, that gives Hyde time to recover and come up and make the hit. Had he been able to work back to the ball a little bit, I don't know if Hyde can, can come back and get it, but heck of a job. They've missed him the last couple weeks. He's a force back there, two-time All-Pro. He had a stinger. He was battling that. Second down, 10. Douglas on the move, Zappi to throw. Here they come again with heavy pressure. It's off to Harris, getting blocks from Andrews and also getting a block from Maffey. Look at him run downfield. Douglas catches up to him, a catch and run by Kevin Harris. He's been up and off that practice squad the first couple years. 48-yard catch and run. Well, when you have a team putting as much pressure as the Bills are, you want to find ways to get screens. This time, they're able to get to the outside, not being disrupted by it. You have three offensive linemen leading the charges. That allows for the big game. See how much pressure Zappi was under? Had two guys on him ready to hit him. Well-executed screenplay. Elliott in the backfield, Zappi on first and ten, picks his on, moves up, he's in right here. No one is there, he's going to take it in for six. Zappi, first touchdown run of the season. 17-yard run. The Harris catch and run of 48 sets up the Patriot quarterback with a 17-yard touchdown run. You're going to see the flow of the receivers going that direction. There is nobody on this side of the field in man-to-man -man coverage. Watch, and the safety works that way. Zappi, once he escapes pressure, then it's just a foot race to the front corner. Much-needed touchdown for the New England Patriots. Violin the extra point. And it's 20 to 40 in full throat here this afternoon. A look at Bailey Zappi. This team trend has the second fewest explosive plays of any offense in the NFL. Passes of 20 or more, runs of 10 yards or more. That was a 17-yard run, so to score that way for a team that doesn't get those, those big plays is something else. The ensuing kickoff. Ty Johnson will take it.
And hit on the play by Wilson with the return on the kickoff. Let's go downstairs to Mel. Well, Kev, on the Bills side of things, Trent mentioned some of the accuracy issues today, and it was interesting talking to Josh Allen about how well he's been playing. He said, personally, I feel like I'm having a down season. There are so many areas I can get better in, and I'm looking forward to fine-tuning things in the offseason. And he's been playing through a shoulder injury and said he finally feels like he's getting back into a groove of where his mechanics need to be. But he said there were times prior to the injury where he just felt like he couldn't miss, guys. Well, the people that he plays for, the coordinator and the coach say he's playing as well as ever. Well, and, and it's one thing that, you know, to, to have that where you're feeling like it and, and then right there with the accurate throw. And he's got Kincaid, who's brought down. If Baltimore beats Miami and the Bills win today, that'll set up a matchup next week in Week 18 for the division title. And it's a run here by James Cook. And he picks up three on the play. Cook has become the first Buffalo Bills running back to get a thousand yards since LaShawn McCoy in 2017. Well, just the versatility that he has, not only the thousand yards rushing, the, his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is such an explosive tool in this offense. Second down and seven over the head. The ball whistles in the direction of Sherfield. Third and seven coming up. Some of the numbers today and the four turnovers by the New England Patriots. Look at Sean McDermott. Well, I know Buffalo has a six point lead here, but you can see there only 78 yards of offense not finding their groove yet. Murray is the back on a third and seven. Into six defensive backs underneath Shakir and he is brought down by Duggar. He's got the first down. Khalil Shakir gets it. It was third and seven. He got seven. Well, and once again, the accuracy part of it. Shakir's able to get his arms underneath it and come up with the catch and get the first down. But Josh Allen right now get that ball up a little bit, get a little yards after catch, make it easier. But right now, Melanie touched on it just a second ago. Not dialed in with the accuracy so far today. First and ten, Cook. And then brought in uh, by Farms and others on that line. There's a look at James Cook. He is the younger brother of Alvin Cook, who plays for the Gents and had notoriety with the Minnesota Vikings. Second down and eight after the gain of two. Well, coming into today, averaging five yards a carry and over ten yards per reception. Diggs, nothing caught. Although they've thrown to him twice. And he's uh, had a rush of five yards. Second down and eight. Allen. With the game going into, and that's Gabe Davis has made the catch. Game going into the 49-yard line of New England. A couple to go, about a yard and a half for a first down. Well, they just picked up their first third down of the game on the Shakir scoop catch. Now they're going to have third and short. Talked to Joe Brady about trying to get Stephon Diggs more involved. He said, listen, he does so many things. He opens up other guys because of the attention the defense places on him, but they have to make a concerted effort to get the ball in his hands. Cook in motion. Allen will take it himself. And he plows his way for the first down inside the 45. Picking up five. And the drive continues for the Buffalo Bills. They come in having won three straight. To go against Dallas, playing in the rain. It's Diggs, first catch, right on two. Breaking tackles, swerving around. Lawrence Guy will try to get him and brings him down. With the flag thrown on the play. Is run and catch to the 33-yard line. Well, that's why you need to get the ball in his hands, because a little gain can turn into a huge gain. Definitely pick up to a first down, but looks like there's going to be a hold on the Bills. Holding number 10 of the offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay, first down. That wipes out a 12-yard gain by Diggs. There you got the hold on Shakir. Blocking yeah, Bryant. He, he has that right arm wrapped underneath the shoulder pads 
See, it's all the way underneath, so he can't escape. Brian can't escape, so that's an easy call for the officials. Diggs only needs one more reception to become the youngest player in the history of the league to 800 career receptions. He's already over 1,000 yards this season. 96 catches. First and 16 spot foul at midfield. Gilliam trying to give a block the fullback. Going deep downfield. Intercepted. Picked off by Austin, the former Bill. Alex Austin, a rookie, gets it. And picks off Buffalo quarterback Josh. Brought down on the play by Dotson. Game of two. Keep an eye on Austin, Kevin. And watch as we roll this play. He's just going to... He's going to follow. This is what Josh Allen is watching. He sees Austin go with the post, so he goes ahead and throws it to the outside. But Austin, with an excellent job of breaking off that coverage, peeling back and getting the interception, you could see how he fooled and baited Josh Allen into that throw. Second down eight from behind they come, and here goes the throw, and it's caught on the play by Thornton. Tyquan Thornton, his 11th reception of the season, picks up 14 yards on the play. He'll have a first down to the New England 26. And Thornton brings a dimension of speed here that Bailey Zappi doesn't have a lot of it. There's not a lot of offensive weapons with that speed like that so trying to take advantage of it with Thornton when they can with the first down in 10 when he was handling Lawson now on the move after a 17 yard touchdown run he runs for a first down right here Zappi with the move blocking up ahead and on the scamper picks up 17 to match that 17 yard touchdown run earlier on he gets a first down and he's up to the 45. Well, he's used his legs. Obviously, the touchdown run earlier. Bill sideline looking for the block by Demario Douglas, going back towards the line of scrimmage. Upset with that no call. First down in ten. Low the block at the left tackle. This is the tight end Gusecki, the former Dolphin, and he picks up about eight as he gets down to the 47-yard line. Second down and two, Verizon Halftime Report being put together for you right now in New York. J.B., Phil, Nate, Boomer, and Hall of Fame coach Bill Cowher. They'll give you the latest scores and news and highlights and playoff situations in the NFL. All coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Zappy through the air, 7 of 14. He's thrown three interceptions. The Patriots, four turnovers, yet down by six only. They just picked off Allen, and they go downfield, and a nice catch right there is grabbed by the rookie, Demario Douglas, on a liberty. Comes up with a reception of 16 yards and a first down to the 32. That's right in front of Hyde. Great job coming back to the football. It's low. He secures the catch number one. Knew he was going to take a hit, so he didn't get back up. How about Zappi the last couple of series? Yeah, the first down in 10. And the try Poyer is going to make the stop right there. It's a minimal game. Mel, what do you have? Well, Kev, you'll notice that Devontae Parker has not been out there this drive. He has a rib injury and is questionable. And, hey, they're already down Juju Smith-Schuster, who was placed on IR yesterday. So not ideal for this New England offense at the moment. Oh, my, you're right. Now, and Kendrick Bourne was lost earlier in the season. They have had a single receiver with a 100 yard game they're already depleted there Trent I mean my goodness yep a lot of lot of missing pieces on that side three timeouts for the New England Patriots second down 10 going for Douglas and incomplete in the coverage by Johnson Taron Johnson was down there they were looking for Demario Douglas it's third and 10 at the two minute warning Third and ten, Gasicki grabbed by Poyer, shy of the first down. Down to the 29. And on that play, picks up three. 
and they're going to try. Belichick is going to try for three and close the gap. Bills have called a timeout there first. Try and save as much as they can for their offense. Ryland will be out there. He has missed eight field goals. Coming up, the Verizon halftime report. JB and the guys from our CBS studios in New York. They'll give you scores, highlights, a quick update on the playoff situation. All coming up on the Verizon halftime report. So Ryland has missed the most field goal tries. He's missed eight. He had the game-winning field goal, most importantly last week, of 56 yards with seven seconds to go in Denver. Now he's got a 47-yard try. Well, they like his explosive leg and, and the power that he has. He just, as Belichick, as Coach Belichick told us, just needs that consistency. He's a rookie out of Maryland. He's going to try to make it a three-point game. No wind, 36 degrees, 47-yard field goal, and wide left. In the pregame warm-ups on this end, he was missing a field goal right there for Ryland. Bills will take over, two timeouts. And they don't have anything to pay for that interception thrown by Josh Allen. They come out unscathed. 37, first and 10. Underneath they go, Diggs. Grabbed by Austin and others, makes the grab. That is catch number 800. Youngest in the history of the NFL with 800 receptions. He gates eight right there. Well, I'd like to see him spin out to his left and get out of bounds. Instead, the clock is rolling. They do still have the two timeouts, as you said, Kevin. It's second down and two. Brown the block at the right tackle, but they come the other way with White, and it's incomplete. They got about Dawkins and Keon White, who is a rookie, and they like him. Out of Georgia Tech, comes through the second-round pick with pressure on the Buffalo quarterback. There is no foul protection. Great pressure off the ball. Actually, they really got around the guard, and that was Connor McGovern. Third and two. Just two of seven on third down today, Kevin. And third down and two. Murray was in motion. Allen with time. Latavius Murray drops the ball. Austin was over there. It's incomplete. It's fourth and two, and they want to keep the offense out there. At least Allen is uh, out there lobbying for it. They're going to. Fourth, Bills drop to down. Well, he just takes his eyes off it as the ball goes to the ground. A gutsy call here, going for it on fourth down in your own territory. Allen screaming towards the sideline, not happy with something. He's going to get him to jump, or does he uh, well, have we'll a play see. up his he, sleeve? He, yeah. may, he may be yelling and mad because it's uh, it's just a no snap, no play, just to try and draw the defense. But and. And Knox, the tight end, going, and they called a timeout. Well, that was a botched play. And so Allen was going, why is my tight end under center who's going to take it? And they've done that before, and <laughs> they didn't move. Yeah, just trying to, just trying to get it, draw him offside. And I don't think Josh sold it really well when he started, you know, <laughs> throwing his hands up in the air and yelling towards the sideline. I don't think the defense was convinced that they were going to run a play after, after that. Sometimes it takes a little acting to get the, the, the defense to buy into it. So... A lot of frustration there. Yep. Only 111 yards of offense and two of eight on third down. They've got the lead by six, at least for now. New England with three timeouts left. Miles Bryan is back, and Martin will punt it for the Buffalo Bills. Bryan's going to wipe it away. And it takes another great bounce. He's had a couple where he's pinned him down deep in their own zone, a 49-yarder. And Martin with a terrific punt. Mel, what do you have? Well, Kev, Bill safety, Micah Hyde, and his wife, Amanda, recently. So a minute five to go. Patriots have all three timeouts. There's a look at Micah Hyde. He began with Green Bay and acquired here in Buffalo, and he has been a mainstay with Poyer at the safety position. Poyer moving up, first and ten. Not a whole lot there as the quarterback, Zappi, takes it for two. 
Second down and eight. Clock is ticking. Well, that was interesting. Quarterback sneak. Widen your lens Why here. Yeah, I, I, well, I would have just handed the ball off, done a draw, maybe a screen, something that you can secure. If you get a big chunk of yards, then you can, you know, try and go. But, uh, well, what's it say about uh, the position, the, the youth of the quarterback? <laughs> Letting says, that clock run. And you got three it says they know they had four turnovers and they're still alive in the game. That's what it says. I it says we'll we go got, to an e, that's it. We're uh, we're doing OK with uh, four turnovers to only be down six in this game. So. Pretty stunning. And it began yes. with a 98 yard kickoff return for Belichick's Patriots from Rager. But then turnovers on three of the next four possessions. A pick six by Douglas. Each quarterback with a rushing touchdown. Josh Allen is only 7 of 20 with an inner.